This is how the cube performs when the sausages are taken out. I can already tell that this has no more lockups. Close to none. Now you may be thinking, since the sausages are taken out, what if it pops? Well, yes, this thing will be more prone to popping now, but partly because it's taken out, since the sausages is taken out, you are more prone, but then again, you still have the two, the two layers to reinforce you from popping. So, yeah, you will experience pops, but so far I haven't had any since I've been using it without the sausages in here. Yeah. Soon, after this, I will have a few solves, a little average of five after this, after this clip. So, enjoy it. I think I just forced a PLL skip. <laughs> I did the wrong OLL algorithm. Yup. Here's the final verdict. Okay, so out of the box, this cube is not that special, really. It locked up. It's It had this factory lubricant in it, which didn't feel all that great. It just didn't feel worth it. So, but after breaking it in, and then this cube still has none of the sausage pieces in it. They're right there. I'm... This is actually a pretty good cube. They Diane has designed it to not pop anymore. Well, not anymore, but to make it less pop. Still smooth. It has that smooth yet crispy feeling to it, which I do like a lot. And so, you might be wondering, is it worth it? To me, not quite. It's a bit overpriced for it. It's like $15 right now, but that's due to high demand. Of course, that's basic economics. Um, soon, I would predict it would. The price would, would go down a little bit. This thing, I'd say it'd be, at worse, it'd be worth $12, $13 rather than the $15 right now, what I bought it for. I, can, I do see this as being my main, but for now, I'm sticking with my Ling Yun because I just really like the feel to it. But that's just me. Some people don't like the crispy feeling of this cube. If you do like more of a smooth yet crispy feeling of a cube, this cube is the way to go. Also, if you don't like pops, this cube is great 
for blocking pops. Me, personally, um, I don't pop cubes a whole lot. I'm a little accurate turner. I'm not, not that bad. I'm not like, Gah! after every, like, solve. So, really, this cube, it's a good cube. I'd say, go ahead and get one. If you have the money, get both if you really like. Personally, I bought both black and white because I always buy cube sets like that. The twins, black and white. It's just it's just my thing, really. But overall, this cube's pretty great. Maybe maybe purchase it when it when the demand goes down a little bit and when the prices go down. Then overall, it would be perfect then. Goodbye. This review was made over um over like a few days. And as you can expect, I had plenty of bloopers, which will be given to you in the next clip. So, this is my first review. Give me any feedback of how I did, what can I improve on. Constructive, yeah. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And have a great day. I'm fine. And, uh, sorry. Um, as if it has two things that would clip on to the corner. Wow, I am holding it the wrong way. God dang it. Okay, so yeah, it's like two. There's like one and then two. Kind of looks different. Ah, no! The sausage is moving around the core. Ha ha ha. Yeah.